Well, good afternoon, folks. Thanks very much for tuning in. It, it, it is Saturday, the twenty, uh, Friday, the twenty-fourth of January, and well, it's been a very mild winter so far. I think you can agree. Temperatures have been exceedingly above the seasonal averages. Take this month for uh, instance. Um, we've had a central England temperature of five point nine degrees Celsius so far, which is a good two point three degrees Celsius above average, but. I think that's going to reduce as we go through towards the end of January as we've got some cool conditions on their way and they're starting off next week really with um, some cool conditions on the way and cold and wintry I think summarises next week not exceptionally cold not, ex not exceptionally snowy um, by all means but certainly a cold spell I think you will notice it after the mild spell we've had so far this winter so um, yep cold spell so lasting for a few days maybe a week or two um, and temperatures are going to be a good few degrees below average and we could see some snow in places. So first of all today I want to take you through the uh, the ESMWF, the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasting. I want to take you through that particular model and I'm going to see how that's shaping up. So this is the start off and this is yesterday. We saw a trough move through and that brought with it some wintry showers across, the locate, across some parts of the country and even some snow. That's cleared through now, and now we're in a, uh, uh, a warm sector. So we are bringing in some slightly milder air today. It is feeling quite mild outside, but it's very stormy. We've got some strong winds and heavy rain. And then by tomorrow, well, uh, low pressure comes back in, and we're bringing in more active weather fronts, and they're bringing in some outbreaks of rain, even some sleet across parts of the country as colder air reintroduces itself. For Sunday, well, the next area of low pressure comes hurtling in off the Atlantic, and that brings with it uh, strong winds and heavy rain. Some really quite heavy rain in places after Friday's rain and Sunday's rain. We could see yet more problems with flooding across uh, parts of the country, so definitely be we will be aware of those flooding risks. Now, as we go through towards Sunday evening, what's very interesting, I don't know whether you can make out on this particular chart, but if you see the 528 there and the 528 there, if you're within the 528 dam line, which is basically 500,000 thickness, HPA thickness in the atmosphere, um, if you're within the 528 dam line, then you can receive outbreaks of snow, and we're certainly in the 528 dam line there, so during Sunday evening, well, uh, yeah, we could see some outbreaks of snow potentially across parts of the country, so the winter weather is on the line for Sunday evening, parts, parts of northwest England, west of Scotland, southwest England, Wales, perhaps feeding through to the Midlands, perhaps not, perhaps through the Cheshire Gap and also Ireland too, so we are on the lookout for some wintry showers during Sunday evening. And what's interesting with this particular setup is through towards Monday, the area of low pressure stays firm and we bring another source region in from the air. So it comes all the way up from North Scandinavia into the low pressure system, into the rain, and we could be turning some of this rain into outbreaks of sleet and potentially some snow through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Becoming very cold by Wednesday as high pressure starts to move back in with some more snow showers across the country. And what's very interesting is by Thursday and Friday, low pressure comes hurtling back in off the Atlantic. Now, as the low pressure comes in, as it bumps into the cold air, it could potentially turn into a period of sleet or snow, especially across the hills through Friday of next week. So that's definitely one to keep an eye on. I'll keep you tuned with that. And I'm also keen to keep the cool weather going through the end of January. Although what happens into February, I think you can agree, is a little bit uncertain. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a very mild winter so far, although temperatures are going to be on the down. And we're going to see our breaks of sleet or snow come through. Well, a very mild day today without breaks of rain. Same for tomorrow and then for Sunday. Very mild day, although we have a lot of heavy rain pushing in. And then during Sunday evening, we do see a risk of some wintry showers pushing. And then through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week and Thursday, we see our breaks of rain. And as the colder air is introduced, some of that rain could potentially turn into outbreaks of sleet or snow. So very interesting, I think you'd agree, I think it's a very eyebrow-raising eyebrow outlook today. Thanks very much for watching and see you later.